Welcome everybody. Now, I'm breaking these videos down into uh, three videos uh, on the weathering. One for the roof, then one to do the brickwork, and one to do the base. Uh, just gives me a bit more chance just to show you a little bit more how I'm doing my weathering. So, that's the introduction. Uh, let's get on and get this work done. We're starting with the roof, and we I need to really bring this pink or terracotta whichever way you would like to call it I'll just call it pink bring this pink down we've got to tone it down a bit now I'm going to be using two washes on this now the first wash is it's a dipping formula and it's a brown wash now this is already pre-mixed but I thin this one down a lot about 25% of this and 75% of thinners you don't really need it harsh. If you haven't got that, you can actually use a bit of flat earth. That will do the same job, same sort of mixture, and that will give you a, a good uh, base color. So that's the first color I'm going to be using, and also I'm just thinning it down with standard uh, airbrush thinners, nothing too special. I do prefer to use the ultimate, but I've ran out at the moment. I'm waiting for an order to come in. And I'll be giving that a, a wash. What am I talking for? Oh, I could be doing. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. I've got my wash already mixed up. Uh, 25.75. <coughs> and all we're going to do is give it a coat of this brown wash, which instantly you can see is bringing this terracotta color down we're giving it another uh, another shade should i say another shade of pink well not actually pink but brown so what i'm going to do now i'm going to do all of the roof like i'm doing now no great big secret i'm really i'm going to splash it on and uh, when i've done all that i'll come back to you now the coat of wash we put on is almost dry, not 100% dry, but it doesn't really matter. Now, before we go any further, I will point out a few things. Now I've been doing some experimenting with uh, a new casting powder. Now it's a terracotta powder with iron filings in it. And the thing about it is that it gives you quite a good effect. And there's quite a few tiles on this roof that have actually I've actually used this uh, casting powder and mixed them in uh, to see what sort of effect I can get. I will point them out a bit later on, a bit more in detail. And also, I will be doing a video and everything else about the particular casting powder, if it works out okay. So, that's the reason why you can probably see uh, a few different odd colours. But it doesn't matter, because if you ever look at a roof, all the tiles are not the same colour, same shade, shall I say. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put another wash on top of that. Now, it's another 25% paint and 75% uh, thinners. And all I'm using is a, well, this, I'm using a Mod Air at the moment. Just a straightforward black Mod Air or model colour. It doesn't matter. Just thin it right down until you get your 25 75 mix and I'm just going to turn this this way and the way I'm going to use this is downwards from top to bottom all right so And that's the only way you really want to go with it is downwards on your whole of your roof. Now, if you do it and it doesn't look dark enough to you, you can easily give it another coat. Work down the side of the valley. Well, sorry, hip. But just always take it especially your black it's just downwards because that's the way the gravity pulls things is downwards and that's how we want it 
the effect to finish, should I say. So I'm going to carry on. I don't think you can really see a big difference there. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to get the other side done. And when I'm all finished, I'll come back to you. Okay, it's had a coat of black. It's not properly dry yet. I'm going to leave it until it properly dries out because it may need another coat. I'm not sure yet. But in the meantime, I'll get on with some other bits. Now, we have uh, some laths showing here. Now, if tiles were taken off these laths, there would be little uh, lighter patches on this where the actual tile met the lath. So I'm going to recreate them. Now, all I'm going to be using is a little bit of light gray. It's by AK and that's it, light gray. And it's just a matter of putting some in onto your wet palette, tiny drop. And a small paintbrush, nothing too technical. And running in line with the tile is just to put a little dab. So wherever the tile would have sat, you just need the tiniest dab of paint. Right, so. You get the idea. Can you actually see that? Now, it looks a bit bright now, but we will put a very light uh, black wash over the top of it just to fade it in and make it look good. But you need to do all even the bits that are hanging down all your laths these bits down here because the tile would have come in contact with it and it wouldn't have got sunlight or any of the weather in and it would be just virtually white wood so i'm going to get that done and uh, i will be back with you shortly there's me going steaming ahead and almost forgetting to switch the video camera on now i've done the uh little dots on that on the actual laths now even the laths that you've taken out the hole you need to do them on that because it depends on which way they fall you're going to see them now i'm still leaving this to dry because uh, i'm just i just keep moving on and the next thing i want to do is just to highlight where the tiles would have been under each other now when a tile sits on top of it it's very much like the uh laths no uh, daylight gets to it so it virtually stays quite light well it will stay lighter than the rest rest of the tiles which get weathered down so all these tiles here all i'm be, going to be using is a little bit of ak medium rust uh, and i'm just going to bring a line across the top of the tiles Right, so I probably have to do this a couple of times just to get the right colour. But any tile that would have sat under a tile, you need to give it just that little bit of uh, lightness on it. So it looks like it should be there. So I've given, well, I don't even think you can see that at the moment. I'm, I'm having a hard job. I can see it. That's that's the main thing. I'm, I'm afraid to say that uh, a lot of these colours don't really show up that well on the camera. So you might have to go over it a couple of times. I might even have to find something uh, slightly brighter, should I say. Okay, I'm going to carry on finishing them bits off and I should be back in a second. Okay, I've got you as close as I could because you just can't see from a distance. Now, what I've done, I've used the uh, light rust. No, it wasn't. It was the medium rust. The medium rust and put a line through. And then I used AK's light rust, which is more, uh, if I can get that in there, show you. it's more of a orangey rust and i've just brought another line over the top of the tiles because these bits would have been wouldn't been exposed at all and uh, it would be a real light orange 
So I've done that around that area. I will now start if we come down. Sorry about this. Uh, one second while I refocus you back in, people. There you go. Now I will be starting around here, and what I'm going to actually do, going to be doing is using the real light rust and just going round the edge of the tiles all the way around because that would be a break and it would be a lighter colour. Uh, I'll be doing that on all the uh, broken bits over the roof. So I'm going to get on with them and I should be back with you in a little while. Now I've, I know you can't see from there but I have gone around and highlighted all the little uh, broken bits uh, in the lighter rust and I'm actually, I will be giving this a second coat of black wash, but not just yet. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to get the gutter in, just painted in black and the downpipe. Uh, so that's all done. And uh, once that's done, uh, then I'll come back to you and uh, we'll go on to the next bit. Okay, I'm back with the gutter in now. I've got terrible light in here today, so I'm just going to have to show you a section. What I've done with the guttering, I've just painted it black, nothing too special. Uh, I've used Mod Air Black by Vallejo, nothing too fantastic. Then what I've done, I've used some uh, AK, it doesn't have to be AK by the way, uh, chipping colour, which is a sort of like a rusty brown. I can't even get that in because we're that close. Uh, there we go. It's the chipping colour by AK. All I've done is I've just put bits, dobbed it on along the guttering, then with a cotton wool bug while it's still uh, damp, is just virtually smear it in just to give it that sort of worn, uh, rusty effect. And I don't know if I can. Let's try and get it around to this corner. Like I say, the light is absolutely terrible. It doesn't matter what position I put the camera in. We can't see a thing. Uh, see if we can refocus you. Sorry about this. But I've done that all the way around, as you can see, on the guttering. And it just gives it that oldish effect. Now, I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I may come back to it and just put probably uh, a little bit of green here and there. I don't know yet. I'm going to leave that really to the end. Uh, now really what I need to move on to now is that we've got the cutter painted is let's focus it back in there is to move on to the actual hole and get some debris inside because the roof to me now is finished I was going to give it a second coat of black but I don't think I will I should put you on pause and I'll okay we're back up on the roof now now I was going to give it a second coat uh, I'm umming and ahhing about it at the moment. It's got quite a nice effect. It's not really showing up on the camera, but in, uh, should I say, real life, it looks pretty good to me. I'm quite happy with it. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to do a second coat. I'm really going to leave that as a final option when everything is done. Uh, for the simple reason is, if it sort of like indicates that it wants another coat, I will do it. But if not, I won't bother uh, because also I want to give this roof a, a coat of matte uh, because there's a few areas uh, if I find a pointy stick there's a couple of areas where the PVA has just come out and it's a little bit shiny the light catches it so I will be giving this when I've finished a, uh, a coat of matte just to blend everything in and finish everything off but that is going to be right at the end when I've finished everything just to uh, there would be the little tweaky bits as I call them so that to me now is done all finished I'm happy with that now I'm going to turn my attention to the inside if we turn this round we probably have to try and refocus let's try and refocus here now We've actually got this uh, big hole in the actual roof. Now, 
I'm not working this as an explosion, I'm working it more as debris hit the roof has come crashing through. So I'm going to actually build some type of uh, rubbish rubble pile in there, some masonry. I'm not quite sure yet how and what I'm going to be actually using. But I've got all the battens uh, from this hole. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some tiles because I need some tiles to actually go in the inside and I'll just show you uh, how I just get them uh, prepped up ready to be used inside okay while I'm waiting for bits and pieces to dry what I've done here is a piece of clay I've just flattened it out onto my bench and I've just put a load of uh, roof tiles on now the reason I've done this is because I want damaged uh, roof tiles but I want them to be weathered and also well to look like they've actually come off the roof so that's all I've done a piece of clay I've led the tiles out and I'm very simply going to go over the top of all this with my washes like so I'll give this uh, a coat of the brown and then a coat of the black I will leave it all to dry and hopefully when I lift them up I will still have the light patches uh, along the edges so I won't have to do too much messing about i.e. painting the edges like I did the other tiles so I can be able to use them straight away as uh, a debris now the next bit I'm prepping up is uh, some sort of masonry to actually go inside the roof that's actually come through the roof so what I've done here I've uh, glued just two pieces of the English bond uh, brick sections together on the back of it I've glued a piece of the plaster sheet and a, a nice piece of wallpaper now the idea is that we can break this up into sections and hopefully we'll get uh, a bit of the plaster a bit of the uh, wallpaper so it looks like it's just masonry from another building uh, the next thing i'll be doing i have given this a coat of uh, pba i will be giving it uh, a grout up with me plaster and then i will be giving it a coat of the brown and a coat of the black uh, washes uh, just to sort of make it look a bit weathered before we break it up okay quick look at the bits and pieces I'm going to use for debris inside of the roof space now I've kept all the bits and pieces I've got all my laths here uh, which I have been and painted them up with the uh, lighter grey just to indicate where the tiles sat we've got the section that actually came out we've got the roof tiles that uh, we weathered up earlier on the piece of clay and we have our piece that we're going to break down and make into uh, masonry bits. Now, past experience, when I used to do building and that, I did quite a few jobs where uh, chimneys have actually fallen over and actually come through the roof. And they always are layered. Uh, when you start taking the masonry away, you find uh, the tiles and then the uh, laths and then the timbers and bits and pieces underneath that so I'm going to layer it up exactly the same way so I'm going to start with the main uh, timber that will go right at the bottom then we're going to go with the laths on top of that and then we're going to go with some tiles on top of that scattered around and then we're going to break this section up and try and create a little bit of masonry it's going to be very difficult for me to show you this as, as I'm going through it, but what I should try and do, um, I'll lift the camera up, and as I'm doing each section, I'll just come back uh, so you can have a quick look.
Now, my apologies for that. I would have done a voiceover over them pictures, but for some unknown reason, it just wouldn't let me. So, you had to do a bit of reading instead. Now, well, I hope everybody uh, uh, sort of got the gist of I built it all up in layers. Now, I've got to the point where I'm more than happy with how much debris I've got. Well, I think it's 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 petering on the border line of just enough, not too much, but not too less. I may even come back to it a bit later on and just probably add a few bits and pieces, but I will do that right at the end of uh, the weathering lot when it's all done. I shall just sit and if I need to tweak a few bits and pieces uh, just to make them look right, I shall. So if I do do that, I will do a little video and just show you what bits I'm sort of uh, just fattening away and um, making good, should I say. Now the roof to me is all complete. So we just turn that round. The inside's done and the outside done. Now what I should do now is I'll do a lot of photographs uh, because it's not really showing you the, the, the true colours, should I say. I should do uh, some photographs, tag them on to the end. Now, the next video that I'll be doing uh, weathering wise is going to be the actual brickwork. Now, to be honest with you, there's not a great deal of weathering to do because we've, well, I've, I've been doing it as I've been going along, but there is a few extra items that I'm going to be adding. It's going to be shutters for the windows. Uh, we need to make a door and also maybe a gate uh, for the front and then just blend in all the brickwork and make it look right. Now that will be on the next video. So everything here now is uh, done and uh, all I can say now is thank you very much for joining me. I hope it gave you a little bit of a insight to how I go about my weathering. So until the next time, thank you and we'll see you then.